for our honeymoon, my wife Larissa and I wanted to do something special, exotic, and visit a place we never thought imaginable. We figured we're only going to have one honeymoon in our lifetimes, hopefully. <laughs> Why not do it big? We decided to venture all the way to Tahiti and Bora Bora. Wow. It had everything we wanted. It was luxurious, crystal clear blue water, and of course, plenty of excursions, because we are the adventurous type. Little did we know what we were in store for on our first adventure as husband and wife, and that is what I would like to share with you this morning. First of all, it took a really long time to get to Tahiti. We were living in New York, we first had to fly all the way to LA, which took about six hours, and then to Tahiti with the layover. All in all, it took about 16 hours to get there. We got there sometime in the evening, checked into the hotel, had a late dinner, and then went to bed. The next day, we were gonna go sightseeing, and since we were only there, we had to get it all done because we were leaving for Bora Bora the following day. After breakfast, we went over to the concierge to help us with arranging taxis to get to all the different places because there was no tour and we really had no idea where these places were. We just only wanted to go see them. We figured small island, three places, how much is a taxi going to be really? The concierge informed us that it was going to be about $100 just to go to one of the places we wanted to see. We were like, okay. He informed us that we could rent a car instead, which would be about the same price as the cab ride. We would have it for the entire day, and we can go see everything that we wanted to see. We were a little hesitant at first because you know, we were in a foreign land, didn't really speak the language, but you know, we shrugged our shoulders, looked for an adventure, and said, let's do it. So we did it. We find ourselves back at the airport, standing in front of this little two-door hatchback, about big, big. <laughs> we get in, and we realize it's manual. Oh, oh, I don't drive stick. Oh, <laughs> Luckily, my wife Larissa does. <clears throat> Lucky her. She gets to drive. We get in, so we switch places get in, we start going, we get about 20 feet, the car stalls. Start it back up, go another 20 feet, stalls again. Third time, stalls again. We didn't know what to do, we were so frustrated and annoyed. I looked down, the handbrake's on. I say to my wife, honey, I don't know stick, but is the emergency brake supposed to be on? <laughs> she gives me one of those looks. <laughs> and we both start laughing and celebrating that we could finally leave the airport. <laughs> now we're trying to get to our first destination called Point Venus. I should also mention that my wife loves taking, taking pictures. But since she's the one driving, that is not my responsibility. I also have to read the map that we got from the airport that pretty much looks like one you get at Disney. <laughs> so I'm trying to read the map, take pictures, and give her directions all at the same time. Of course we get lost and have to turn around. My wife Larissa, she begins to execute a three-point turn. All of a sudden we realize she can't seem to get the car to go into reverse. <laughs> Figure something out, nothing, right? Put it in fifth or whatever. I don't know, stick. I just tried to do it, didn't work. So I was like, all right, put it in neutral. Now, I remember the car was about this big. So I said, put it in neutral. I got out and just pushed the car backwards. I got back in and we were off. We finally found a gas station, went in to ask the guy how to get there. Of course, he only speaks Polynesian. Luckily, a very nice woman overhears and tells us how to get there. We were literally five minutes away. She also acted as a translator between us and the gas station attendant 
to figure out how to put this car into reverse. Mm -hmm. It was this little lever underneath the stick shift that you just had to push up and move over into fifth. It was the easiest thing. We should have figured it out. Work. What can you do? <laughs> we finally get there, and it's just amazing. It's got this black sand that was made from volcanoes. It almost looks like mud, but it's literally the, the softest sand you will ever feel. Mm -hmm. I got a picture for you. I told you my wife loves taking pictures. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Nice. Now we're going to our next place. We're pretty much professional at this point. I know how to read the map. My wife can now get the car going forwards and backwards. <laughs> we can finally appreciate the scenery and the driving that we're, that we're going on. We have the beautiful water to our left with surfers riding the waves. We have this amazing mountainside to our right. It's quite, quite beautiful. We're trying to get to this place called the Arapaho Blowholes. And the reason they're called blowholes is because the water crashes into the side of the cliff with such force that it creates these holes where the water and the air shoot through these holes like a, like a whale's blowhole. And I'll show you another picture. So it looks like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Wow. Oh, that's cool. She's a good photographer. Yeah. Wow. So we're now going to our last place, the Cascades de Teferumai, to see the Valle Mujuta Falls and the Hayabareme Falls. I'm butchering the and I apologize. To get to these falls, we hiked for 45 minutes, where the mountain be a tropical forest, complete with wildflowers, vibrant colors, lush landscape, and a lot of bugs. Thank you, thank God we remember the bug spray. And I got the red light, so I'm just gonna hurry up and show you this last <laughs> picture. And this is what the waterfalls look like. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> and I'll leave you with this before I get the cut off. Romance in the dictionary means excitement, adventure, and it's something extremely real. Romance will last a lifetime. I know that with a journey such as this, the mind will. Thank you. Okay.